one. Good job, everybody. Utensils down. Time oh, is oh my up. Gosh. Oh, <laughs> it's Thank God. We made a cake that had the bride's Irish heritage tied into it. We have three separate Irish love knot rings. The bottom tier is black rhinestones. We wanted to bring in the bling, but you know, make them edible. We added a lot of flowers. Then we added a, a second tier that has a quilted effect. Your flowers are the best in this competition. I feel like I could smell them. Thank you. I wanted to customize this cake for Carlo and Jenna's wedding. Every bride loves her gown, so we've incorporated a wedding dress design. We have blown sugar swans. The cocoa paintings represent both their interests and their loves. Going up, we've tried to gradually go into the black, so we've worked with silver. I wanted it to be soft and feminine. The top tier is a blown sugar ball. Carlo, your opinion on Julie's cake? Julie, I love this cake. I love that the fabric on the bottom looks like real fabric. It just looks like it's just draped on there. We made beautiful cake for two people that are in love, Jenna and Carlo. We have an Irish blessing around the base of the cake and a ball cake and uh, a ring at the top. We weren't sure how big her engagement ring is, but we gave her a big one. Martha, your cake is gorgeous, but I want to see your hand. I wanted to see less computer-generated elements and more handwork. I kind of disagree with Margaret. You have balanced technology and artwork seamlessly here. Thank you.